Howard, Glenn, and Mike back here on BTN Live. And here's how impressive the Wisconsin running backs were in their first game. Talk Melvin Gordon, James White, mm -hmm. and Corey Clement not only all had 100 yards plus rushing, but the guy they replaced, Monte Ball, tweeted out afterwards, <laughs> quote, so y'all trying to embarrass me? <laughs> <laughs> With that in mind, we bring in our first guest, and that is Melvin Gordon. Melvin, uh, you saw Monte's tweet. You retweeted it as well. So clearly you guys are in touch. Give me an idea of something you've learned from him. Um, Just to practice hard. Uh, Monte practiced extremely hard when he was here. Um, uh, as a freshman watching him, how he worked in the offseason, um, in his off time, he kind of, I mean, it's like, 10 o'clock at night, I, I, I see him jogging. So, I mean, he really put the work in. So, uh, I just learned from him, you know, you got to put the work in and and, uh, and it'll pay off. Melvin, along with you, you've got uh, James and Corey, three outstanding backs. Uh, how do you handle the rotation during the game? Do certain backs go for certain plays? And how do you handle the rotation in practice? Um, uh, you know, me and me and James, uh, we get the the carries with the ones, and and uh, Corey get the twos. Um, I mean, it's not really an adjustment for me. Last year, you know, I I was I played that role, you know. So um, James get the first series during the game. Um, I get the second, and if you need to get tapped out, you know, um, for a breather, I'll go in. Um, it's not really a, a big deal, you know, who gets the most carries and whatnot. Um, you know, we all just trying to make plays and help the team. So whoever hot, whoever got the hot hand goes in. That's pretty much how it goes. You know, going back to last year a little bit in the championship game particularly, there were a lot of sweeps you were able to run and had a lot of success. And I think this year, particularly in the first game, obviously, you made big plays in between the tackles. Can you give us a little bit of, of why it's different for you or what, what makes it different running outside than inside? Um, you know, running outside, you know, you just got to determine it's, 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 it's based on uh, how the tight end gets his block, how the receiver gets his block. But um, when you're in the backfield, uh, you know, you got to read so much more, I feel. You know, you got to keep your eyes on your read. Um, you got to follow the linebackers. Um, you got to know where the safeties are because uh, they're the hit man. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely a big difference uh, running a jet sweep and, uh, and running from the backfield. Tell me something about Gary that you know as a player of his that I wouldn't know. Wow. Um, how much he actually cares, like, for his players. Um, I think he says it in the media, but uh, people don't really understand, like, how much he cares for us. Um, he'll do anything to make us, you know, to, to have us feeling right on game day. Um, he's almost like a, like a second father to us. Um, and we really appreciate that, you know, when we see him, you know, we, we, we can have side conversations, you know, he's laughing, he's talking with us. Um, so I, I really do enjoy that. So he's, he's, a, he's a great coach, man. He really makes us feel at home. Let me ask you about your name. Melvin is not a name you hear that much. What were the reasons behind that name? I mean, my, my dad's name, Melvin, uh, I think I was supposed to be called Richard, <laughs> but uh, my dad wanted me uh, to be named after him. Uh, he was named after uh, his dad, so uh, he just said, he always told me, you know, name your son Melvin, you know, we always, you got to keep it going, so I believe that's why he named me Melvin, so. Uh. Hey, Melvin, we talked a lot about the offense, but uh, how's the defense doing there in Badgerland? <laughs> wow, they're doing great, uh, and in the scrimmages and in practice. Uh, it, I mean, for you not to get nicked up uh, in practice was uh, quite impossible. Um, going up against Borland, going up against those guys every day, man, that, that, I feel like our, our defense is really good. Um, and I think that's why our offensive line did so well. You know, we're going up against those, those guys every day. Uh, they show odd and even fronts. Uh, they switched it up on us. Um, they do crazy blitzes. So um, I think our defense is pretty good, and, you know, they're going to keep us in a game against a lot of teams. You know, you touched on it, the odd and even front. The defense now is going to that 30 front. What are some of the changes that you guys have had to make in practice, and how difficult is it for you? Um, just, just how, how they blitz. You know, now you got a, you got a, you got a rover now, so you got an extra guy out there. Um, so the blocking protection, it, it, gets, it gets a little different, you know, and you got you to gotta scan back. You, gotta, you know, you got a lot more guys to watch now. So um, I think as far as that, um, you got to understand uh, the, the blitz, the, the pass protection more. You know, it gets a little bit more difficult. Um, seeing a four down, uh, 
uh, even front uh, all the time. So I think that's where that's where the change come in at. Game number two is Tennessee Tech this week on BTN. Melvin, good luck. Thanks for the time. Oh, thank you.